What's up, superhero? Superman Adam 100 here. Today is Saturday, September 30th, 2017. This is our last video for September. This is day 306. I'm getting ready to go for a walk. I'm going out with my girlfriend again later on today, but that's not till about 7. So, and it's only 3:45. So I'm going out for a little walk. It's a little cold right now, but I'll be okay. And I don't want to have to start the vlog up with me walking. So we're going to bring back our famous little jump transition, and we're going to get over to our walking area. Just three, two, one. Boom. Here we are. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh. hey. You're wondering why this vlog was called 306. Goodbye, pink hair. I think now you know why. Well, now you know why. You should know why. Because the pink hair is gone. The pink hair is gone. I'm bald. Bald Adam is back. Feels more free. Feels a lot chillier outside now. Unfortunately. And my hats fit my head better, though. That's good. So, let's talk. <laughs> let's, let's talk. <laughs> Let me, uh, relive the events of last night. So it first started out, it was going to be me, my girlfriend, and my sister. Then it turned into me, my girlfriend, my sister, my brother, and my cousin. We all went together. <clears throat> first I had this like zombie paintball hayride and my sister and my brother and my cousin they didn't go on that it, that that one was just me and my girlfriend by ourselves we went on that together just me and her and basically what it was was we had we had people dressed up like zombies and they had Little fake stand-up zombies and animatronic zombies and all that. And we just shot paintballs at them. Now they were... They were... Dressed so that they wouldn't get hurt. When you shot them with the paintballs. I was so into it that I ran out of ammo before everybody else. <clears throat> yeah, I ran out of paintballs before everybody else. There was 150... Uh, paintball rounds in there. And like I said, I was so into it, I ran out before everybody else did. Then came the haunted maze. And I could just say I'm surprised. I myself am surprised. And oh fuck! I am sur I ha ugh, fuck. I can't talk. I am. I. I myself am surprised that I didn't have fucking nightmares last night because last night was, without a doubt, the scariest night of my life. I have not been this scared in a long, long time. <laughs> My allergies have been fucking with me ever since fall started. It sucks. Okay. Yes, I have not been 
that scared ever in my life. I wish I would have bought my camera to record us while we were inside the maze. Just so that you can hear how loud I was screaming. And actually, when we made it out, I'm going a little off topic here. When we made it out, the lady looked at all of us and was like, she was like, damn, you guys were in there for a long time. We were all like, yeah, we know. We were in there for a long time. We were in there for like freaking 35 minutes. And my brother, he's an asshole. For the first five minutes, there really wasn't anything scary. So he would wait until we all got ahead of him. And then he would wait. I'll use this thing over here as an example. For the first five minutes when we first walked in, there wasn't anything in scary coming out. So he would let all of us get ahead and then he would go over by the corn stalks and go. And he would like shuffle them out of the way and we'd be like, oh shit! <coughs> yeah. And that was, it wasn't just that, he was scaring us the whole way through. Like if there was a few minutes going by where we really weren't getting scared by anything, he would continue in the corn stalk thing or he would just go, ah! <laughs> he got me one time good. My cousin was the one scared the most. My, co my cousin's almost 30 years old. And she was scared the most. <laughs> At one point, these two people that scared us we're following behind my sister and my sister's walking behind me with the flashlight on and I'm in front of her with my ears covered like this because I'm scared and the guys behind my sister like <sighs> breathing on extra hard and my sister's like Adam go Adam can't keep moving stop stop don't stop stopping just keep moving At one point, I felt really bad because my girlfriend got really scared to the point where she actually started crying. There was this one part we had to go through where imagine, uh, think of the the bouncy houses or the bouncy house castles, the inflatable bouncy house castles that they have at little kids' birthday parties and stuff. Where it's in big inflatable, you fill it up with air, and then they jump around. <coughs> Imagine that, but this one was just walls. And you had to... They were squeezed tight, really tightly together, and you had to push your way through. And you had to... And you had to, you had to push your way through these walls. And she, my girlfriend, she was scared because she thought there was going to be like something or somebody underneath the on the ground as we were walking through that was going to come up and be like Ugh! to scare us you know so she was scared we're all getting ready to walk through and she's freaking out she's like I don't want to go in I don't want to go in I don't want to go I don't want to go I don't know if I ever said this, my girlfriend's name was Mackenzie. Actually, no, I did say that. I think I said her name in the video where she took over my channel. Uh, day 273. Yeah, I posted her name in the description. Yeah, and there's even there was even a video where I gave her a shout out and I said her name too. It's Wendy again, guys, I'm sorry. So yeah. So when that happened, the guy I was there to like scare us. He saw like how panicked my girlfriend was, so he like, he took his mask off, so he like, he took his mask off, and he looked at all of us, and he was like, look, he was like, look, I'm really sorry, because of how scared she is, if you guys want me to turn the power off, I will, and we were all like, 
can you please? We're like, yeah, go ahead and, and shut it down. So he did. We turned it off and my girlfriend was still like really scared and reluctant to go through. So my brother looked over at my cousin and was like, hey, you take Adam, Diane, my sister Diane. My cousin, it was me, my girlfriend, me, Mackenzie, my brother Anthony, my sister Diane, and my cousin Mandy. So Anthony looks at Mandy and he goes, okay, Mandy, you take Adam, I'll take Mackenzie, Diane, you just go through yourself. And Mandy was like, okay, so me and my cousin, we, we went through together. It was actually really easy. It felt like forever for us to get out, for us to be squeezing our way through, but we, we made it out though. <clears throat> Um, so me and my cousin go through together, my sister goes through, and then, my brother goes through with my girlfriend, and by the time my girlfriend was out, you know, she was still a little shooken up and everything, but she was, but then she was fine. For the rest of the night, up until when we dropped her off at home, she was fine. Now, I've seen my girlfriend cry once, and it was back in November. Yeah, I saw her cry once back in, not November, back in July. On the 4th of July, she was scared of the fireworks, so she went into the house and she started crying, and I was there, like, trying to help her. But I've never seen her cry the way she cried last night. Like, imagine, like, the panic cry, like the, <laughs> like that, like, that's how she was. <laughs> I got scared so many times. It got to the point where my brother was doing it so much, and my cousin was like, Anthony, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and at one point, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing like a girl at that point right there. This was so fucking funny. Thinking about it now, it wasn't funny then, it was fucking terrifying, but it's funny to think about now, now that it's all said and done with. <laughs> There's this guy that was hiding out, and he was like, he was like, I'm right behind you. I was like, no, the fuck you're not. <laughs> At one point, there was this one girl that had a mask on that scared us, and she came around and scared us again, and my brother was like, don't touch me. <laughs> And you know, freaking corn mazes, they have dead ends and shit. The scariest part. There was a lot of things that were scary. Like, the very first thing that scared us was there was a TV. There was a TV on. There was a TV. A little, what are the little old black box TVs? And it had, you know, had like the V, the VCR static screen that comes up. Not the blue screen. The VCR static screen that comes up. Like imagine the static screen that comes up when you're, when you're, when your cable disconnects. And you get the static screen though. It's all staticky all over the screen and stuff. It had the VCR static, kind of like, um, the part from the movie, the, from The Ring. Where it shows the VCR static and it keeps flashing in and out before the girl climbs her way out of the TV up to the guy. That's actually what it was, it was The Ring. But they had the TV on so that you would get distracted by the TV. And not think about, the thing is, it's... It was there to distract you, to make you think that the that the first thing to scare you was gonna pop up on the TV. But in reality, we were so ready to get scared by whatever was on the. T we were so ready to get scared by whatever was gonna pop up on the TV that we didn't realize there was a girl sitting in the bin, and she she was like dressed like the girl from the ring, like she had the white sheet over her face. Like, no, she had the white sheet on covering her hands and stuff. And she had her hair over her face. And she was kind of sitting in a thing like this. 
And we were so distracted when we turned around and this girl was like, Whoa! And jumped out, we were like, oh my god! Now on to the scariest part. The part where me, my sister, my cousin, and my girlfriend all intertwined together and screamed like little girls. At one point, I'm hearing the Michael Myers music from Halloween. That music. And I remember them saying that there was a dude with a chainsaw somewhere in there. <laughs> there was a dude with a chainsaw somewhere in there. They told us before we went in. We asked the guy that was, um, because we had to take the hayride up to the corn maze before we actually went in. And we asked the guy, before he started driving the hayride away, we asked him, we were like, hey, what's the one thing we have to be scared about? And he was like, well, there's a guy in there with a Michael Myers mask on with a chainsaw. And we were all like, oh, okay. So at this one point, we're all trapped at a dead end. And I'm hearing the dun 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 I'm hearing this before we were at the deep at the dead end. And I'm like I'm like I hear Michael Myers music. I think something's gonna happen. And my brother's like, just go you fucking pussy. Nothing's gonna happen. Then we get to the dead end. All of a sudden my brother didn't tell us this until we were back until we were back at my house because my brother my sister and my cousin they came back to my, they came upstairs and stayed for a little bit at my house after they they dropped me off they dropped off my girlfriend first and then they dropped me off at home but they stayed upstairs for a little bit until about maybe 10 30 or so and then they all left um so yeah terrifying but my brother didn't tell us this until we were back at my house that he heard the guy pull the little lever on the chainsaw and started the little room. He said he heard the guy starting it, but that at first it didn't start right away. So we said he heard him pull it again. And I didn't really see it. I saw it for about a split second. I saw it for about a split second. <laughs> I saw it for a split second. This guy pops up out of nowhere and just goes Vroom! and starts the chainsaw. I'm like, oh my god, the chainsaw! I'm like, oh my god, the chainsaw's here! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking funny to think about now. It wasn't then, like I said before, this was the scariest part. And it was the scariest night of my life. It wasn't scary when we were in the moment, but it's scary now that we're thinking about it. And like I said before, this is the part where me, my girlfriend, my cousin, and my sister all intertwine together and scream like little girls. I got so scared at one point that I literally closed my eyes so hard and screamed at the top of my lungs that I literally grabbed my sister and I went boom and I headbutted her by accident in her forehead with my nose. I don't know if you see it, but ever since last night this one part of my nose has felt a little bit harder than usual, like almost like it's swollen a little bit on the inside. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> and at one point there were these two girls who did fucking phenomenal. Both me and my brother agreed. That these, girl did a, that these two girls did a phenomenal job. They were fucking fantastic. 
We're at this one point coming around. And all of a sudden we hear. We hear what most likely could be the scariest song to ever hear when you're in a haunted maze. Ring around the rosy pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. We hear this. But they were girls, so they tried to sound more nasal. They were like, ring around the rosy. Oh my god. And it was so good that at first my brother thought it was that my brother thought it was a recording at first because of how fucking phenomenal they were. And when he realized that it was real people, he looked at my girlfriend because he was still holding my girlfriend's arm after she got scared when we had to when we had to push our way through um, the inflatable walls. He was still holding on to her, and he just like he was no actually he wasn't holding her. He had like let go of her at first, but then he grabbed her again and was like, Mackenzie, look, don't even think about it. We're just going to run past them. My sister told us when we were back at my house, she told us that she didn't see them. My sister said she didn't see those two girls. She was so scared that she just ran. <clears throat> she was so scared that she just ran through and didn't even see them. So... <clears throat> <laughs> So my brother's standing there with my girlfriend. He looks at her and she goes, he just goes, all right, Mackenzie, we're just going to run through. And I'm not far off. I'm right behind them, standing next to my cousin. And so my brother and my girlfriend, they run through. And me and my cousin are getting ready to run our way through. And all of a sudden, this one girl looks at my cousin and me. And she was like, ah, oh, so it looks like you stayed to play with us. And my, my cousin was like, no, the fuck we did it. And she was like, Adam, go. <laughs> and I get ready. To, I'm running away. And as I'm running away, one of the girls said something to my cousin like, I'm going to chop off your limbs or something like that. And the funniest thing, my cousin just goes, no, no, you're not. I like my limbs. They're a little fat, but I like them. <laughs> it was so funny. We had some good laughs through. It wasn't all scare. It wasn't all scare. There were some laughs as well. It was kind of fun. It was fun, but very, very scary at the same time. <sighs> a funny thing was uh how I said before that there was a guy and he goes I'm right behind you and I went no you're not my brother said something to him after we passed through my brother said something to that guy to the point so that the guy he said it loud enough so that the guy would be able to hear him and my brother said something so funny that he said he actually heard the guy laughing Oh, he was standing in the woods, like you hear the guy like, <laughs> like laughing his ass off. One second. Sorry, I was walking over by this one part and I heard this like one lady singing Indian, singing in her Indian accent. And she sounded really good. Actually a really good singer. Oh my god, it's like a hog in there. Whatever the fuck that thing is, I don't know. It's like a beaver or something like that. Leave it to beaver. Ha! I don't know what it is. It's like a beaver or a groundhog or something. I don't even know what it is. What are y'all? It's like silly, freezing cold and windy outside yet. I'm still sweating. Can't even see myself. I'm gonna get into the sunlight. Wait, that's just sunlight? No, I gotta get into the shade. What? 
Oh, what's up? I'm like, who the fuck's calling me? They were right behind me. Look, this side is heaven because it's blue skies, and this side's hell because it's dark skies. Look at the dark skies. Heaven. There's heaven and clouds over there because it's all nice and blue, and then hell. All right, now I'm in the shade. I forgot where where I, I forgot what I was talking about. The two girls. I forgot I forgot where I was talking about this. But yeah, those two girls. That was the best part. They were fucking phenomenal. They did amazing. They did an amazing job. Like phenomenal, amazing, fantastic. There's a whole bunch of words I can think of to explain to you guys how how good those girls did in that moment. There was one point this girl that scared us walked, looked at me, and was like, "What's your name?" And I was so scared to the to the point where I was just like, "Adam." And she was like, "Hi, Adam." And my cousin was like, "Adam, don't say your name to strangers. Go." You can kind of see on the sides my stepdad shaved off a little on the sides. Just kind of notice it on this side too. It's all right though. Got a little bit longer to go until my beard more and more starts to become full bloom, you know. So I can't remember what I was where at what point I was in the story. At the end, it was it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. It was it was cool. So that's it for now. I'm gonna stop it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, of course you don't have to. I love you guys, and we have only 59 days left after today. Counting down the days, guys. I'm getting more and more sad because it's sad that these vlogs are going to go. But we, just, we go straight back into the weekly vlogs after this. We left off on uh, weekly vlog number... Uh, we, le we, we left off on weekly vlog number 90 back when I first started doing the daily vlogs. So once the daily vlogs end, we go straight back into the weekly vlogs and we'll, we'll start with vlog number 91. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.